what's happening, guys. I thought today we could take a look at this, the fantastic Arduino multifunction shield from Alice 110 1983 that I got in the slow boat from China, episode number 10. Now, if we take a closer look here, you can see some of the things that we have include a uh, four digit seven segment display, a reset button, a header that is labeled for Bluetooth or voice recognition module, a piezo element beeper, a separate six pin header that is labeled for an LM35, a uh, three by four header that has ground and power on it, three buttons, a jumper, and a potentiometer. There are also four built-in LEDs. So you don't get uh, a lot of information with this shield. In fact, you know, this is your basic uh, Chinese shield, so you don't get any information with it. But a little bit of Googling and a little bit of continuity buzzering has yielded this following information. In this seven pin header coming down here, third one down, it goes to D0, fourth one, D1. Uh, the bottom is ground, one up is five volts. And in this round header here, we have digital two, ground, five volts, ground, A4, and five volts. And on this header here, the four pins heading down the right side are five, digital five, six, nine, which are all PWM pins, and A5. Now you notice the construction. The buttons are all haphazardly soldered in there at whatever angle they happen to land at. Same is true for the reset button. Uh, fortunately, they all work, but, you know, the quality is... Um, a little not grady. Is that a good way to put it? <laughs> All right, so let's bring in an Uno. And what you're going to notice is there's a piece of tape here over the USB jack. And the reason for that is uh, the pins here on the seven segment display short out against that jack and cause unwanted segments to light up. I thought I had a bum unit until. I made that little discovery. Now, we'll plug her in here. And I have uploaded one of the examples that I will link to down below. This is the timer. So it uses the three buttons. The first button starts, stops, and resets. The second button increments minutes. The third button increments seconds. So that is one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. You get the idea. And a nice long press of button one resets it. So let's go with the 10 second countdown. 10, nine, you know how to count. If not, you probably shouldn't be playing with dangerous electricity, should you now? When we get to zero, we get three nice beeps from the sounder. It, unfortunately resets the whole thing back to zero so anyway this is a piece of example code that i'll link to down below and you know what it, it's very nice it uses the multifunction shield library the mfs library which allows you to just call a bunch of functions instead of needing to know which pin goes to what although you know in my opinion that's always a good thing Let's take a look at another example uh, showing you the built-in LEDs. Okay, I've uploaded code for these four LEDs we have here. And they're all red LEDs. Nothing too exciting there. Um, I wish they'd been, you know, RGB LEDs. That would have made things a bit more interesting. But it is what it is. So that's all that code does. Nothing terribly interesting there, it just blinks them. They are nice and bright though, so that could be somewhat useful. Let's bebop over to the computer and you know take a look at 
the shield uh, code and library. Okay, a little bit of Googling for um, Arduino multifunction shield will yield you this PDF from Hackatronics. And I will put the link down below so you don't have to Google because I know how much you guys hate that. And it comes down here and explains a few of the things about this shield. But what's important is um, you have the multifunction shield library, the timer one library, and the software I2C library. Those are the ones that this shield uses, and you're going to need them. So once you have them, you can... Uh, install them into your library folder uh, if you don't know how to do that you uh, just go into your documents Arduino libraries and put those there anything that has a hyphen master at the end of it you're going to want to get rid of the hyphen master but one of the things I was telling you and I want to point that out is how easy it makes it to use you know once we've um, got the multifunction shield library running to write to that uh, four digit seven segment it's just mfs dot write and whatever you want to write I mean you're gonna have some trouble printing out most of the letters but you know some of them are there and it can be quite useful especially for simple commands you know stop go end help those are all there. Um, prints out your variables uh, just fine. Here we have 3.141 down to two digits. Um, we also have the LEDs. You can see here we have LED all on MFS blink LEDs, LED1, LED2. There's the potentiometer down here which you can read I don't know why you'd want to read a potentiometer in your code, but you can. You can count pulses. I mean, it's just got a lot of interesting things that you can do with it. Um, it's got that built-in LM35 temperature sensor port. I don't have an LM35 here, so can't really show you. But anyway, let's take a look at one last feature of this thing, and uh, then we'll be done. All right, I'm running the 24-hour... Uh, clock and alarm code and to set it you hold down button one and we're now setting hours you see we can go up click it again set minutes pretty simple now the co this um shield is basically the same size as an Arduino you can see it doesn't quite mate perfectly because of those headers coming out the back of the segment segment display so you know there's that there's the issue of the uh, the buttons not being soldered all that nice but this was two dollars shipped from China easy to play with uh, gives you a few nice functions probably worth two bucks to play with i mean what can you say right all right i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share don't forget to subscribe if you have subscribed thank you for subscribing and uh yeah that's all i got to say for now now get out of here go do something while it's still summer there's going to be snow before long then we'll have plenty of time to play inside that's it see you later